So, let's begin. Let's talk about the senses first. Our first sense that we'll talk about is hearing. We saw this picture of the boy, right? He's listening. He's listening. He's trying to hear something. So, hearing is a sense. Listening is a verb, to listen. Hearing is a sense. Hearing is the ability to hear. So, if you can hear something, if you can detect sound, you can hear it, okay? And we use hearing to figure out or to learn about things around us, to learn about our environment. That's one sense. The second one, sight. Human beings, we rely on our sight probably the most out of any other sense. Sight is very important to humans uh, because we need it to see different colors, uh, different faces to know who is who. We need to see it. Uh, we need our sight to see, uh, for example, if we're going to school, we need to see the bus number. We need to see taxis. We need to see subways. We use our sight all the time, uh, especially playing video games or using computers. We're relying on sight. So, sight is probably the most common sense that we use. Sight, of course, is the ability to see something. When you see something, when you look at it, when you watch something, you are using your sense of sight. Okay, let's go on to the third sense. The third sense is smell, right? Can you smell that perfume in the air? In the springtime, you can smell flowers, right? Smell is the sense of being aware of things through one's nose. Now, it's interesting, of being aware of things through one's nose. You, sometimes if your brother, he takes off his shoes and you become aware of your brother's feet. How? Through your nose. Oh, nem se napayo, right? Your feet smell, right? So, uh, you know, smells can be good, the smells can also be bad. So, smelling is the sense of being able to be aware of something through your nose. You can have good scent, good smells, like for example, this girl is smelling a flower, Ah, that's a good smell, but old, dirty feet, that's a bad smell, okay? So, good smells and bad smells. Let's move on. Taste. Of course, we have good tastes and bad tastes as well. Taste is the sense of being aware of a flavor of something. Wow, she's a, she's a very uh, talented chef, looks like. She's a, she's a very talented cook. She's tasting what she is cooking to see if it's good or not. Hopefully, it's a good taste and not a bad taste, right? So, taste is using uh, your tongue, really, in your mouth to be aware of flavor. And, of course, uh, our tongue is the organ that we use to sense or to, to taste something. So, we can figure out if something is sweet, if it's sour, if it's bitter, or what does exactly it taste like. So, we use the tongue for that. That's our sense of taste. Let's move on. Our final fifth test, uh, fifth uh, sense that we're talking about here. Number five is touch. Now, we use touch a lot. We don't really think about it that much. You know, we, we, we think about, you know, eyes are for sight, nose is for smelling, uh, ears are for hearing, mouth and, and really tongue is for tasting, but our whole body is used for touching. We can touch things with our face to see if it's soft, right? Rub something against your face. You can use your hands to touch something because your hands are usually used for that. They're safer, you know, if you're touching something, you want to touch it with your hands before you touch it with your face because your hands are tougher than your face. But you can use your arms, you can use your legs, you can use your toes. These are all ways that we can use the sense of touch. Touch is the sense by which we feel things. You can feel something with the skin on your face, right? Your dog's fur, right? You rub up against your dog with your face. You feel how soft the fur is. You feel something with your hands to figure out what is it, especially if the lights are out. There's no, there's no light or you can't see. Then you use your hands to feel something. If you want to know if the water is hot or cold, you can touch it with your toes, right? Then you can figure out if it's hot or cold. So, we use our whole body, our skin, to use the sense of touch. Okay, now let's talk about another word here, matter. We're, you, we're talking about the five senses. Why? Because we want to know about matter. We're looking around us. We want to know about our environment. We want to know about the things that are around us and this is called matter. Matter is all things are made of this. Matter has weight, right? and it takes up space. So, two main features of matter. One 
It takes up space. That means it exists. It takes up some three-dimensional space in our world. It takes up some certain volume. And it weighs something. It is heavy. Even if it's a feather and it has a, it's very light, it still weighs something, right? It still has some weight, a little bit of weight. And a feather which is very small, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it still takes up some space. Everything in our world that has weight and takes up space is matter. And that's everything, really. Okay, so when we talk about matter, we're talking about, we can use adjectives to describe what the matter is like, right? And one of the adjectives we can use is shape. Remember, I just said that matter takes up space. It has certain shape when it takes up that space. When it takes up space, it has a type of shape. Shape is the outer form of something. So whatever it is, that matter that exists there, it's making some sort of shape. And there's lots of different shapes as we can see. We can call these by different names. This shape here is a cone. On the top, this is a cone shape. This block of wood here, if you see that, that is a block. So if we say it is a block, we're talking about the shape. What about this shape here? That's an interesting shape. This shape is a called a cylinder. A cylinder. This shape is a cylinder. So there's lots of different shapes. It's the outer form of something. And that's one thing that we can talk about matter. And that's uh, the shape of something. We can also talk about the color of something. When we describe matter, we don't just have to talk about the shape. We can also talk about what color is it. The quality of being red, blue over here, or yellow, or et cetera, lots of different colors, green, uh, turquoise, or pale blue, and this is, this is also blue, but this is purple, okay? So yeah, you have different shades of blue here, yellow, green, red, and purple. So these are all different colors, right? And when we talk about matter, we can talk about them. When we describe them, we can talk about their color. So we can talk about shape, we can talk about color, we can talk about size, okay? So we can also talk about size. How big is something? How large or small something is? If it's small, medium-sized, or large, right? So large, medium, small. How big is it, right? How, what, how, how large is it? How small is it? Either way, we can, we can ask about the size. Lesson 12. Matter and Senses. Hearing. Hearing is the ability to hear. Sight. Sight is the ability to see. Smell. Smell is the sense of being aware of things through one's nose. Taste. Taste is the sense of being aware of flavor. Touch. Touch is the sense by which we feel things. Matter. All things are made of this. Matter has weight and takes up space. Shape. The outer form of something. Color. The quality of being red, blue, yellow, etc. Size. How large or small something is.